Hey guys, this is Starlight Sefa here, and today in this video, I am back with another back to school video. So today, I'm going to be telling you some back to school stories. So in the background, I'm going to be playing Snake vs. Blocks because and they did update it, so you can get some cool snakes and stuff. Right now, I'm the Burger Snake, and there are a bunch of different challenges. And I'm sorry if an ad interrupts the video. I will pause it immediately and then just continue from where I left off. Okay, so let's get started. So basically in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys stories from my school life. I mean, I'm still in school, but I got a few good stories to share or some scary ones or like it's just not so fun stories, but they just came to my mind randomly. So we shall see how it goes. Um, so the first story, uh, this is the one how I met um, my best friend. Um, you know her, Azil. She's been in some of my videos. And I also, uh, Tessa was in this story too. Um, I had already met Tessa before, but, um, we hadn't really connected or anything like that. Anyway, but, so basically, Zill was new to our school in second grade. And, so, we were doing, like, this coloring activity, and she was sitting next to me because our desks were in twos. And so, uh, our teacher had just put us by each other because that's just how it turned out to be. And, um, we actually had some interaction before that. She actually had, had, like, a, a lunchbox I had had, uh, last year, and so I mentioned that, but I didn't really remember that part, and, but and my friends were like, no, that wasn't the first interaction we had. But anyway, I like to consider the story I'm telling you as our first interaction. But anyway, so we were, uh, doing this coloring project, and she had, like, the fancy pack that had, like, 20, that had, like, peach in every color, where I had just, like, the regular 10-pack with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, you know, the regular colors, like, non-fancy, and so, um, sorry about that, um, and so, I asked her, hey, can I borrow your, like, peach pencil, and <laughs> she said, no, sorry, I don't think my mom would be okay with that, and so, in my head, I'm like, Oh, why would your mom care if you let me use your peach pencil? But, so basically I was like, oh, okay, uh, thanks anyway. And I was kind of just went back to my coloring and I had, like, orangish skin. Um, <laughs> and to this day we, like, laugh about it. Like, and we're like, why would our mom, why would your mom care about you, like, letting me use a colored pencil? But she was new to the school, like, she hadn't really had much interaction with me. <laughs> So it was just super funny. Um, the next story is also in second grade. And me and Tessa had, like, met. We had become really close friends. Same with me and Zill. But, so, our our seats ended up being next to each other. And, because we were sitting in groups of four then. And we were taking a test. And, um, we kept looking at each other. Because we sat next to each other on the floor. And then there were other people, like, across from us. And... And so we were sitting across from each other, and so the teacher came over to us and, like, stopped talking because us looking at each other made us laugh, so we were laughing at each other and just laughing in general because we were like, oh my gosh. But, like, we weren't talking or anything because it's a test and we know not to talk during a test and blah, 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 blah. And so... And so, um, we were just sitting there being good and everything, and the teacher comes up to us and is like, stop talking, guys. And so, we're just st sitting there like, oh, we weren't talking, but we don't say that. Well, we say we weren't talking, and so the teacher then goes back, and so then we don't look at each other for a minute, and then we go back to looking at each other, and the teacher comes back because we're just smiling at each other. And the teacher's like, guys, I said to stop talking. Now you guys are going to get a minor because you guys weren't listening to me. And so basically, a mi we have these things at my school. I think they're super stupid. But they're called minor and majors. So what this is, it's like, so if you do something like bad or something, um, you get a warning. 
or depending on how bad it is, you get a minor or major. So minor is just like something really small, blah, 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 like maybe you swore in class or something like that. Yeah, stupid stuff. And a major is like something like really big, like harassment or something like that, like you punch someone. And so me and Tessa just look at each other and we're like, but we weren't even talking. And so I'm like, well, I've never gotten a minor or major because minors and majors were new to my school like a year before. And um, I just hadn't got one. So I started freaking out. I'm like, what if my mom's mad at me and doesn't believe that I wasn't talking and everything? And so I start freaking out. Tessa just has this like straight face and with like wide eyes and everything. And so I'm like breaking, I'm like having like a mini panic attack. And the teacher comes back and is like, actually, I forgot to have you guys move your clips down to the warning. So you guys won't, you guys have one more chance not to get a minor or to, to get the minor. So after that, I was like, Tessa, I told her, I, I did not look at Tessa once. I told her after, like, um, I was not going to get a minor or a major. I was not going to get in trouble with my mom or dad. Introducing. And so I was, uh, she's like, I understand. And um, what's the word? What was I going to say? And so, yeah, I, I, I was, I, I didn't have a mental breakdown that day. Um, the second story is, I mean, third story, um, is from sixth grade. And I don't know. Let's see, let me continue the lovely stories. Um, so basically, uh, it was the first year that I had a locker. And so me and my friend were like geeking out about it. And so we wanted to get all these fancy locker decorations and stuff and so whenever I saw something cute I'm like mom I want that can I get it and she'd be like you know you don't need all this I'm like yes I do I have a locker I need to have it decorated um and so I ended up with like three different whiteboards um like a picture frame with it it was just a mess okay and Everyone was like, why do you have so many decorations? I'm like, because I was decorating my locker. And my friend, like, who's geeking out about it, had, like, a mirror and a trash can. That was it. And I'm like, what? (laughs) So, guys, if you're getting a locker, don't geek out your locker like me. I mean, uh, this year, uh, I have a few decorations, like, just to make it easier, like, a whiteboard and a mirror. Well, it's, like, a whiteboard mirror for me, and then, like... A shelf thing to like hold stuff so don't geek out your locker <laughs> no from experience um uh, another one is from let's see let's do third grade well this is kind of like all grade sort of I guess um so basically uh, we have like this aid teacher she's awesome everyone loves her and she's just like the, she's just amazing, okay? And so she has, like, a lunchbox collection, and every day she'd bring a new lunchbox, and so throughout the school year she'd bring each lunchbox twice because she has, like, 67, 68, and, of course, like, a school year lasts, like, 100 and something days or something. I don't know how long it lasts, guys. Don't kill me, but it's school. You kind of go, and then when it's over, you are free and you're happy. Then you lose track of the days in summer. Um, and so every day she'd have a different one. I'm like, how many lunchbox do you have? And this is like the first time I'd seen it. So it was like probably like first grade or something like that. Um, so yeah, that was just a random little one. Let's see how long is this video. Um, okay, I'll do one more. And so, uh, this is from first grade. So there were these two teachers. We're going to call, uh, the teacher I got, Miss M, and then the other one, Miss H. So, Miss M and Miss H were, like, best friends. They are best friends, I mean. And so, I wanted both. So, either one I ended up with, I would have been totally fine with, no problem, whatever. And so, I ended up with getting Miss M. And uh, so, basically, Miss M would, like, teach math. And then Miss H, like, you'd go over to Miss H's classroom and... You'd learn science, and she'd bring in... Wow. Oh, God. 
and so basically um you basically got both and it was so awesome because you got to learn from two different teachers and miss Aunt h also had a dog that she would bring in and so it would be super cool because like back then we were, like teachers like she'd bring her dog in for like an hour and then next time she had like a free period she would like take her home or something like that and so it was just really awesome to like have that out of school and this was the year actually minors and majors were brought in so it was so cool look at the snake eyes isn't this like so weird I'm not sure if I like this very much anyway but so that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed my kind of boring school stories I have a bunch more from other grades to like seventh and up and everything like that um but those are just the ones that I thought of offhand and I'm sorry for the late upload but I've had such a busy day but I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe to become a Shake star and I'll see you guys next time goodbye